In this lesson, we're going to guide you through the steps of attaching aerial imagery to the design file. We're going to use this aerial imagery later in the course to help us design our horizontal alignment. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to attach an aerial image as a reference file, as well as how to review the aerial imagery. To attach the aerial image as a reference file, make sure you're in the Open Roads Modeling Workflow. So let's go ahead and choose the Open Roads Modeling Workflow. And then from here, you want to click on the Home tab, locate the primary ribbon group, and go to the Attach Tools and select References. From here, we'll go to Tools, Attach, browse to the location of where you've extracted the training files, in this case, Bentley Training, Quick Start for Civil Geometry, and select the Aerial Topo DGN. This is the file that has our aerial images already embedded in it. You can set the attachment method to coincident world. And then once you do that, simply click on open and that will attach the image to the file. At this point, you can simply close the references dialog box and fit the view. To fit the view, simply go up to the top of the screen, select the fit view button, and it will fit the view to the screen. Let's take a moment to review the information in the file. So as you can see here, we have an aerial image and the horizontal alignment that we're going to be creating is for London Road. If we use the middle mouse wheel, we can zoom in to the location of London Road. So zoom in a little bit closer. And you can see London Road is a two-lane road that runs south to north. And you can also see there's some magenta circles that are drawn in the file. These are going to be used to help us design our horizontal alignment as we progress through this course. The circles represent the PI points that you're going to use to draw tangent lines in between each one and then ultimately create your horizontal alignment. In the next lesson, we'll be creating the horizontal alignment for London Road and we'll be using this aerial image and the PI points as a guide to help us determine the location of the alignment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.